All right, so today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the InMotion V13 compared to the Bagode Master Pro. And I've only recently got the Bagode Master Pro maybe a week ago or so. I put over just 100 miles on the Beast and I wanted to do a comparison because I know that when these were originally uh, marketed and released, they were like competitors to each other in motion, trying to compete with Bagode to see who could kind of outdo the other and create a better product. And um, what struck me is like how incredibly different they are. Um, they're both obviously like huge UCs um, and similar in weight. I believe the Master Pro is maybe five pounds heavier or 10 pounds heavier with the uh, metal battery boxes, something like that. The V13 is around 115 pounds and Master Pro is a little bit heavier than that. And um, so the biggest difference I noticed uh, between these two is the torque. It's really interesting to me how I feel that they each really well represent the brand that they come from. So the V13, in my experience with a little over 3,000 miles on it, has just been stellar build quality. Um, the only hiccup I've had has been maybe like twice since I've owned it. Um, it's taken a while to turn on. Where I have to wait like 15 minutes and because it wasn't turning on. But other than that, everything has been pretty much perfect. Um, it's been rock solid and it's fast and just everything about it feels very, very high quality and well built. The rim is super strong. Suspension gets the job done and it's just a joy to ride. It's um, very comfortable, incredibly feeling of safety while riding it and um, obviously has very good top speed one of the fastest UCs out there. And then with the Master Pro, you get this kind of more raw um, bull, it reminds me of a bull in a sense. It's this just incredibly aggressive feel. The torque is unreal on this wheel compared to the V13. The Goad used to have this motor difference. They would have either the high speed, the C30 motors, or the high torque C38 motors. And um, that is the feeling you get between these two wheels. The torque on this is far, far less than on the Master Pro. The Master Pro really inspires you with the confidence that you can lean hard and accelerate hard, climbs up hills much easier than the V13. This would struggle with some of the hills in San Francisco. So this wheel just has this feeling of, of raw power to it. It's got a larger battery. It's got 4,800 watt hour battery compared to the 3,024 um, watt hours on the V13. So substantially more range, which means that you can um, cruise for much longer with less range anxiety. And also, you're gonna have a little bit more headroom if you are riding at a higher battery percentage than um, when you're at a lower battery percentage. Although this wheel has incredible headroom as well. I think the stock pads on this are, they're key to how it looks good, but they're just really bad. The, the rear pad, I don't know if you can see in the video, does almost nothing for you when you're braking. And because it's such a heavy wheel with so much momentum when you're going at 30, 40 miles an hour, to be able to control it and stop when you need to, in a way that's safe, you need so much more than just this tiny little pad. I'm planning on adding a whole extra pad here so that I can have a lot more support when braking because this thing needs to be muscled in order to be controlled. Another thing, I do not like the stock tire on the Master Pro. Um, it's much better than like the CST tires that just are like basically off-roading tires, but it still slips when you're trying to, to turn um, aggressively. And if you're, if you're leaning on it and you feel the wheel slipping underneath you, that's a terrible feeling. So. Um, I would want to swap this tire out and put in a, like a pure street tire, like the Michelin Pilot Street 2. So in conclusion, um, both good wheels. Now they're about the same price. You can find them for maybe 3,800 from various like well-known distributors. I'm personally going to keep the Master Pro and try to sell the V13 just because I love to do longer rides and I love the torque. I really love being able to just off the line lean really aggressively when I'm riding. And on, on the V13, it's, it's been done by some riders, but it doesn't inspire that kind of confidence because there's just so much less low end torque compared to the, the Master Pro. Um, both good wheels, I think that they're, so far they've been very reliable for me and the V13 has a feeling of much higher quality, but the Master Pro, man, is, is a joy to ride in. And I prefer to ride this just because of all the raw power, the torque and the extra range um, with customizations like adding in more pads, swapping out the tire, and um, just adjusting a few things. I think this wheel could be an absolute dream to ride. It's already more fun for me to ride than the V13. Thanks for watching and hope this was informative or useful to you in some way and stay tuned for more videos.